This is a tutorial on how to use the catalog file within Show Controller. The catalog file is a very versatile tool because it allows to share frames and animation as a package for the use in different shows. So this package of frames and animation gets included to the show. The advantage of this is that you have all the frames and animations with the show and they are quickly available. The downside is that the show size increases, so the file size of the show may increase with included catalog files, especially if you don't need all frames or animation in this catalog file, it may be unnecessary space. The catalog file can be accessed through this icon and the edit scanner setting dialog opens with a tab settings cat file open. As you can see there are no frames or animations here in this list so we need to load the catalog file. There's already a preset catalog file included with a show controller and this can be directly opened here. It's the default cat. And on loading this one, you can see there is many frames and animations already in the catalog file. But you can see there is also free and empty spaces on here that can be custom assigned own frames and animations later on. So we want to use this catalog file. It's already loaded, so we confirm with OK. Now we want to use one of these frames from the catalog file. And to do so, we double click an empty space in the timeline and the event dialog opens. We click on Trick Film and an empty Trick Film event is added. We scale this event just to match the time frame. We can do it even shorter. It just depends on what you want to do. It's just a 10 seconds frame now. Double click on this empty Trick Film event shows up and you can see these are the frames and animations we've just added with a catalog file. That's pretty interesting because we can now select different frames here. First of all, we select one frame, which is number 30. And we do the same here, down here, 30. So it's the same frame, basically. This is what we just use and we say, OK. Press play edit to see the preview of the frame. We double click it again. And now we want to have a sequence of frames used from the catalog file. So we not have a start frame and end frame the same one, but we change the end frame to be, for example, 33. And in the background, you can see already it's changing. So it's kind of an animation. We just created a quick animation of three different frames. Oh, basically, it's four different frames. You can adjust different settings on here, just depending on what you want to do. If you want to modify the catalog file, for example, add own frames or own animations, it's rather simple. If you double click again, then you can select an empty space here in the catalog file. Let's browse, browse a bit further, further back. There is a lot of blank space. You click on one of these blank frames and you can see that there is the arrow showing up. You know these arrows from pick edit already. You can then either send a picture to the temporary buffer or you can get a picture from the temporary buffer. If we, for example, create an own frame in pick edit, let's do that. We create just a simple form like a square, for example. That's it. And we send this one to temp. Then we go back here and we can get it from temp. And you see it's that simple. It's just been added to the catalog file.
more detailed modifications to the catalog file can be done in the pick edit. You choose file, open cat and you can open the default catalog file or any other catalog file you've worked with and then modify the different areas especially the empty ones. So this allows for more detailed modification of the catalog files and you can create your own set of frames, animations, patterns that you always want to use in your shows and it's super easy to just load them and then recall all the frames and animations from there.